Hi guys, my name is Puspinder Sani. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you how you can increase the table view height in a scroller view dynamically on the basis of content inside the table view. So, without wasting further time, let's move to the task and understand how we can achieve that. This task I am going to do with the help of a storyboard, where I will take one storyboard and in the storyboard I will create one view controller that will be attached with the view controller file and there we will do some program for increase the height as per the content and it will not take more time so please watch the video till the end guys here if you can see that i have create one fresh project called as table view and here i have main storyboard and one view controller file so in main storyboard first of all i am going to take one scroller view that will be the parent scroller view so i will search for a scroller view and i will add into my view i will set the constraint to my scroller view first of all i will drag this to the somewhat left side from here i will set the constraint and i will make as 0 0 from the safe area so this is my scroller view inside the scroller view if you can see there is content layout and frame layout so how it will work content layout and frame layout i will tell you now first of all any scroller view can have only one child view so i will take one view drag and drop with the same strategy and now i will stretch it stretch it till the end now i will set the constraint to the view which is inside the scroller view check this part carefully how i am setting the constraint click on control click on your view press control then click and drag and drop to the content layout then set leading same way set top same way set trailing same way set bottom and now the final step is to set the width as per the frame layout not the content layout that is point very carefully you have to check now make it zero and same way cross verify this also it should be zero so it's already zero here now i will take one view we can say some random view okay here just for display purpose here i will set the view height somewhat like 500 or it can be as per the content whatever you are going to set into this view now from the top 20 right 20 then left 20 and height i am going to set as of now 300 and of course i am going to set some background so that it can be visible to when we run the application now below that i will take one table view this table view i will take below the view okay and at the initial this is the table view which i have to increase the height as per the content so first of all i will set the constraint to this table view leading equal to the view and same trailing and from the top i will take 20 and from the bottom i will take 20 okay now i will give the height to this table view that will be the constant height as of now i can say 100 okay so now you can see my view and table view so as you can see i have given the constant height so i will take the outlet in my view controller file of this table view so let's start click over here go to here and then option and click over here so your controller file will open into the half of the screen now i will take the layout of table view now i will take the height of the table view so over here now i can say table view h height so this is my table view height and this is my table view constraint so now it's time to set some data to this table view so first of all i need to create one cell so i can say new file 
this is my cell i can say table view cell and also create xib next click so here this is my xib inside xib i am going to take one simple label which will display some content inside the table view cell and i am going to set the constraint from all of the side is 15 so i'll copy paste and this table view can have multiple line also so i will make it zero zero if we are giving any label as a zero lines it means that it can contain the number of lines as well the content inside that okay now the font if you want you can select the font if you don't want then you can uh, ignore this point okay so i will take rockwell and the font size is 70. now i will give the constraint of this label in my table view cell so over here again option and click on the particular file which i would like to open into half span now i will assign the label so i'll be dash description click on connect then close this now open your uh, view controller so in view controller i will create one private function private and function where i'm going to give the name is set table view in that function i will give self dot table view dot delegate equals to self then again self dot table view dot data source equal to self now self dot table view dot i will register my xib so i will call register xib here u i n i b and i am going to use nib name and bundle name where is my nib name is table view cell so i will call table view cell and my bundle is nil so i am going to pass nil and my reuse identifier i want it should be same as table view cell class name this function i am going to call from my view did load function now the second task i am going to assign the delegate and data source of the table view to my view controller so i will take separate extension which will represent view controller here i am going to take ui table view data source comma ui table view delegate this data source and delegate will give me one one very important function first i am going to use the de uh, delegate function that is number of uh, row into section so i will return uh, let's say 10 now i am going to use very important function of data source that is cell for row at index here i will take my cell intent and i will create as a reusable so i will call d dq reusable cell with identifier and for the index part so here i will give my reusable identifier that is table view cell and index path is already coming from the function and i will pass as table view cell now i will return the same cell now here if you if i run this then you can see the output how it will looks like now here you can see the table is in constant height now i want to increase the height of the table as per the number of rows or as per the content inside the table view so how we can do let's we are going to understand this so here if you seen that i have take the table view height constraint so what is the use of that that we are going to understand so here i will create one override function that is view will layout sub view and inside that i am going to say self dot table view height dot constant equals self dot table view dot content size dot 
you can say height now again i will run and i will see the output hooray now here if you can see then the table view height is equal to the content inside that but still something need to do that we are going to look into it so first of all i will go to the my main storyboard and i will disable some contents here as you can see so horizontal in, uh, scroller view vertical scroller view and i will also disable bounce on scroll now bounce vertical also so now again i will run and i will see the output how it looks like here if you can see that this is my table view and this is my normal view and here you can see the table view height as per the content inside that now what i need to do again i will take one view which is in uh, below the table view so for better understanding we can understand now first of all i will remove the bottom constraint of the table view and i will drag and drop this view to the below the table view and i will set the constraint it's quite tough i will drag it down now i will set the constraint to my next view that is leading and again is trailing now from top is 20 and from bottom is 20 so this is my another view now again i will uh, change the color of this one to system green now again i will run my application and we will see the output how it looks like here if you can see the problem is still there because it's not working as expected so if you will see the table view is scrolling still one item is uh, more inside the table view. so how we are going to look into it now i will create one function that is private function and i will call as setup set table view data I will create one string type of uh, list I will call it as private where item list and the type of the list will be string by default I am taking as empty now I will add some item inside that for i in 0 till 10 now self dot item list dot append and i can say some content at the party color index i plus one after doing this I will call as self dot table view dot reload data and self dot table view dot invalidate intrinsic content size. Now here cell dot and I will call item dot count and before that I will give as a self for code security here cell dot lb description dot text equals cell dot uh, sorry it will be self dot item list at index of path dot row now again i will run and before run i will call this function from here self now here if you can see the table is still in somewhat problem now i will go to my main storyboard i will make my table style to group and i will disable the scrolling 
now again i will go and i will run my application i will see the output here if you can see the output is perfectly as per our expectation so the table height is increasing as per our requirement i hope you understand the complete video tutorial if you have any query and if you have any doubt then please write into the comment box and on my youtube channel you will find a number of videos related to swift and swift ui programming so please watch the video and increase your skills have a nice time bye bye take care